Hi and welcome to my tutorial. In this video I'm going to announce a new model that brings a fresh look on the way MapMagic would be used. The standard MapMagic pipeline implies upgrading a new terrain from scratch. Until this moment, MapMagic couldn't be used to adjust the terrain in some places by hand. The only control we have is the whole graph. It's the only way to create an infinite terrain, but in most cases we need a static terrain, and usually it's created manually. The new model is aimed to help with the hand editing of the terrain. It introduces a terrain brush with the effect that is driven by MapMagic Graph. The brush comes with several presets MapMagic users might find familiar. You can edit terrain height with the noise, or paint it with erosion, or paint textures depending on the slope and cavity. But the main thing is that all of these effects are driven with a graph. The graph gives huge possibilities for customizing the terrain changes. It's not just a set of prepared effects. You can do any modification with the terrain that could be done with Core Map Magic or its modules. The brush works not only with the height map textures and grass. You can paint with objects and trees as well if you have an objects module installed. Here is the way of growing a forest. Take a note that the trees are not growing on cliff textures and precipitous slopes. You can create some complex effects like this move preset. It allows you to move the whole locations or fine tune point of interest positions. You can draw roads with the help of the splines module. However, note that the splines module is not quite finished yet. I plan to spend the next year polishing some roughness with it. The ability to set up the brush effect with a graph is the main thing that characterizes this brush asset among similar assets. This is the way it works. With the input nodes, it loads the current terrain heights and textures, processes them with some graph logic, and outputs the results back to the terrain. Generators can have an exposed values, and some of these values, like radius or hardness, are set directly from the brush preset, and some, like brush position and direction, are assigned automatically depending on where the brush was clicked. Function model users might find it familiar since the brush graph is pretty much in common with function. And actually it is a function. Brush inputs and outputs are enter and exit portals at the same time. So you can assign the brush graph in a main map magic graph to check or tune its effect or apply the brush to the whole terrain at once. You can also combine several presets together. Here is the way I can paint with noise and slope cavity at the same time. MapMagic brush might come in handy especially if you are an outsource level designer. You can use MapMagic brush as your own in-house tool. The final result is saved in terrain data asset and could be merged with the main project. The main project doesn't require MapMagic to be installed. As a level designer you can make a great headway if you create yourself a collection of useful brush graphs. They will speed up and enhance the quality of your work. The brush model will be available with a release on UMAPMagic 2.1.0. It might be the biggest change in this version. I plan to release it in early January 2021. Hope you will like MapMagic Brush. Thanks for watching. Bye.